my house is trashed trashed so we're gonna clean it today i have about three hours before i have to go get groceries so i'm hoping to get it all done today it'll probably be in two different videos so make sure you stay tuned to the next one i'll let you guys know at the end if it's two videos or what um but right now i think it's gonna be two because i have so much to do i'm gonna start in the back half of my house this is just a little tip i like to start in the back of the house because you don't see it as often so if i start in the front and then i lose motivation i'm not going to do the back so the front has to be done in order to like live <laughs> so we're going to start with the bedroom the bathroom and the hallway i'll show you what that looks like Hello you guys, my name is Allie. If you are new here, I do all things cleaning, mom life, motivation, small house organizing, room makeovers, all sorts of stuff like that. This is like my dreaded hallway that just gets filled with stuff like this every week. So we are just going to tidy it up. My kids, well, my boys got all of their football stuff and their school supplies. So that's what the majority of this is This video did end up being in two parts so in this video I'm going to do this hallway my bedroom and bathroom so I'm gonna have that video up for you on Thursday I got it all edited I just got to do the voiceover so it will be done and ready we are gonna go out of town on tomorrow which is Wednesday and stay with my stepmom so I'm probably going to do like a clean with me, pack with me type of video, you know, before we go out of town. Then I want to know if you guys would be interested in seeing a back to school prep video with me where I can do like a back to school clothing haul and just some little tips and tricks I like to do to stay organized and on top of things when we start school.
I'm also going to do a boys room refresh just to help with back to school and like we're going to declutter a little bit more and organize and I'm not going to be painting in there but I am going to switch out the decor with decor that they've already had previously in previous years and I am going to switch out their bedding. I am also going to purchase new gaming chairs for them. They're little recliners that they've had for literal years. Like, since they were toddlers, they're just not it anymore. So I am going to be spending that money on the chairs. But other than that, it's going to be pretty budget-friendly refresh. This is why I typically like to have the same style in every single room. Because then you can swap out decor. You know, you could completely change your whole room just by switching out decor but obviously going out and buying new decor all the time is not feasible so if you save what you're not using then you have the capability of doing that that was so off topic sometimes when I just start talking I just keep going and going and going this I'm adding some bins to this it, it's gonna it already is working out so much better and it's only been a couple days since I filmed this because we just have too many shoes to stack them all like this. So mine and the kids' shoes are going to be... Well, mine and the boys' shoes are going to be in these bins. My daughter likes to keep her shoes in her room, which is fine. <laughs> Okay, so this jewelry box thingy is coming out of my daughter's room. We are donating that. And then, as well as that bag down there, that is all donations too. Which, some of it came from my daughter's room and some of it was in the hallway there. So, we are taking that stuff to donations. <laughs> Here is how this turned out. Let me know what you think of this. This is just like a random hallway with all of our shoes and all of our coats. Now we're moving on to this bathroom, which was super, super messy. So this video is basically like a clean with me after doing a room project or a room renovation. Your house just gets so trashed. At least mine does. I focus so much on the room makeover in the room project that I'm doing that I forget all about everything else like that just gets put on the back burner I mean I do like little things that need to be done like cooking and stuff so if you can relate to that leave me a comment down below and let me know that I'm not alone <laughs> when doing projects everything else gets put on the back burner it did feel so good to get this house all cleaned 
I told my husband this night, I was like, we're going out to dinner because I cleaned for three hours today and I do not want to clean anymore. <laughs> so that's what we did. Which we went to Longhorn and Longhorn has been one of our favorite places for years, it seems like. But it made us sick the last time, both of us. And we both get like this where we will eat at a place for so often and then it'll start to make us sick. That it isn't that so weird. Like we used to eat at B dubs a lot when we first got together and then we couldn't eat there for like five years without it making us sick. We can eat there now, surprisingly, but we don't really like it. Like we do, but it's just not the best food in my opinion now. <laughs> and same with Texas Roadhouse. Like we used to eat at Texas Roadhouse for years and now it makes us sick every time. And I don't mean like vomiting sick, it just makes us feel like sick to our stomach, sometimes, you know, coming out that other end, but, and it's usually like right away or right after, like on the way home even, like we start to feel bad and then, I don't know. So here I'm just taking down this table runner. I know I have a lot of table runners throughout my house. I love to just decorate with them and it like saves on dust and stuff, but I do wash them pretty frequently because they do, you know, collect dust. So I'm just taking this off for now. I'm sure it'll be back, but sometimes I just like the fresh, minimal space. Also, when I hit a thousand subscribers, I am going to purchase the Epic Sound. So, we do have new music coming. Thank you for just bearing with me for playing, like, the same music for, like, the past two months. It's one of those things where you have to find, like, non-copyright music here on YouTube, and then you have to download it, and it's a lot of work. So, I've just been downloading you know i've downloaded like 10 different songs and that's just what i've been replaying but i am gonna do the epic sound subscription you have to pay for it i think monthly or yearly and then you can put all different types of music in your videos so stay tuned it, it is coming we're less than 300 subscribers away so so i know like that was a struggle when i first started youtube was the music I know I had a lot of people comment, like, get different music, get better music, and when I explained to them that you had to pay a subscription for the music, they kind of were like, oh, that's kind of crazy that you have to do that, and you do, but I figured out that you could download free music from YouTube that is, like, non-copyright and whatnot, so I did that. I'm like, this will have to work for now until I, you know, want to invest a little bit more in the channel which I do when I hit a thousand subscribers.
but for now, I'm like, you guys are here for me, not for what kind of music is in my videos. So, thank you guys just for bearing with me and being here. This is such, this is so much fun, you guys. So I'm just using my typical Clorox wand toilet bowl cleaner and then I am using this Clorox, it's actually like mildew and tile cleaner and then I use my micro band to spray everything else down. But the Clorox, this toilet seat is like the worst whenever it, I, I should just go invest in other toilet seats because see how that bar is there? Well like when you have boys, <laughs> pee will get stuck underneath of it. So what I did is I took that Clorox spray and I just sprayed it and it kind of like, it's so gross, but it will get the pee out. <laughs> this is just real life, okay? I know for a fact that it's the toilet seat because our old toilet seat that we had did not do this. But when we got this new toilet, we just put the seat that was on it. I didn't want to put the old seat on, so that's that. Who votes that I should just make these boys pee outside? Y'all, I've given up on this dang Dollar Tree Swiffer thing with, the, like, the regular Swiffer pads. This thing, oh my goodness. I don't know, but I want to use the pads, but at the, at the end of all this, I literally end up taking the pad in my hand and just wiping it that way because it just kept coming off. But it's so hard to, like, get it in. Is it worth buying the $14 Swiffer thing? Um... I don't know, because I like when I do, like, the bathroom with these, and, like, I really like doing the hallway, but then, obviously, like, doing my kitchen is kind of, it, it kind of dries out a little bit, but I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, what's a cleaning video without a time-lapse laundry portion? So, this is just my kids. I ended up folding it for them and putting it all on hangers, but then they put it away. And then, the next time you see me fold, I am folding mine at my husband's stuff. And that is really it for today's video. I hope this got you up and motivated and ready to clean and to tackle your day. I will see you guys in my part two of this video on Thursday. You don't want my heart, you don't want my love, you just want me crying over you. You don't want my heart, you don't want my love, you just want me crying. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment, share with your friends, all of the things. And I remembered to do an outro, so that's progress, right? <laughs> I'll see you in my next one. Why am I so awkward? And I just gave you like a super close-up of my face. <laughs> uh, I should not be on the internet. <laughs>